I appreciate you watching today and, and in this video I'm actually helping my brother out build a privacy fence for his dog in his new house he got built here and and it's up here in Alaska and we're digging through a lot of rock here so it wasn't wasn't really a fun dig uh, we're trying to use a powered auger here and uh, we kind of called it the Widowmaker because it would pretty much rip your arms off it caught a rock but there's a lot of fun digging we got most of the holes dug and everything we're trying to go three feet deep but we couldn't really go three feet on all of them um, there's just too much rock and um, it would have been not worth digging them all up um, and we plan on putting concrete in them anyway so most of them we got at least two feet deep in these and so we basically started with that post by the porch there it's kind of hard to see there and basically we're doing 28 feet wide by 32 feet long and to really square this up right we're going to use what's called the pythagorean theorem that one math problem that you might remember from high school that you never used but this one time you use it it's actually one of the greatest ones to use help square up and make sure everything works right but um, we use that got all squared up got the holes dug got the post put in the holes here and and as we're doing this um you may be able to notice we're actually dry filling these basically taking the concrete bag just dumping it in there without pre-mixing it um, now this is a lot of people this is the only way they'll do it um, and I've never done this before always wanted to try it um, and since it's not really a foundation for a house it's a perfect opportunity to try this and basically when you dry fill it what it does it it naturally pulls the moisture out of the soil and harden on its own and and it actually worked out really good I once you got all those in there on um, the next day I I'm go ahead and start to build one of the gates here um, just a real simple you know barn style Z shape here just to hold it all together and once we got that we're starting off by putting all these bottom layers on we're basically just measuring a foot off the ground up and we're just following the basically the the rise of the ground which will make it look more natural um, and again the inside um, only the dog's really gonna see the inside so it doesn't really matter how it looks don't think the dog's gonna play too much but at the same time we want it to look good and look like we kind of know what we're doing here and with that next post up we're basically just gonna measure four feet from that um, first uh, cross post put up all the way up and so it's just four feet separation there. some people put a third one in um, we're not really needed for this one it's pretty sturdy on its own and um, but once we get all these put up and then I went around here and just made sure that they're all cut off the way all the posts look nice and even and um, again some of them we couldn't get the full three feet so they stuck a few inches higher so got all those cut off makes it look nice and even all the way around now and and now comes a fun part of uh, screwing on each one of these boards <laughs> we're basically just putting two screws in the top and two screws in the bottom more enough to hold it together and again just trying to follow the the level of the ground there and uh, so if the ground goes up just follow the rise and it just kind of follows the way the ground goes it makes it look a lot cleaner and nicer and the biggest thing is curb appeal um, you want it to look good from the road especially the that north side there looking towards the road because that's the part everyone's going to see but just taking time and putting each one of these on here and and I wish it would actually go this fast and <laughs> time lapse makes it look really easy but um, after that we're able to put on the first gate here and we get this gate put on here just make sure it's nice level and straight and um not, not too difficult i mean the hardware is pretty simple the hardware is just any kind of hardware you pick up at lowe's and home depot here and um it, it's really not a difficult project and and this is kind of what we've got so far here um it's uh, come together it's really simple honestly and uh, we just got one section left here and we'll just about be done and and this is kind of the last little bit of a section here and end up being i think five five boards short so we had to make a quick run to home people to get five boards other than that um, this is kind of what the end product looks like I don't know, I've always kind of liked that squeaky sound on the gate. But this is that actual second gate that we put up here, and it looks a little different, but it's we cut a little short like that. That way it'd be easy access to the porch, straight out the back door here to let the dog in and out easily. And um, other than that, this is basically the project here. Um, kind of a simple but fun uh, project you can do. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned something. Um, it's always nice to see a job finished, looking good. And um, again, if you like the video, push like on there, subscribe, and. Hopefully I'll be able to put some more videos up for some more affordable backyard woodworking.